Hey guys, I want to show you some settings that you want to use in Maya in order to have a successful experience. Um, some people will get to preferences by clicking the little running guy. It'll take you to the time slider preferences. Uh, but you can go just to the main preferences by doing this. It just takes you to the same place, just interface instead. A lot of things that you can change out here are in here. There are certain things that you may want to turn on and off in here and under display, like if you want your background gradient on or off, for instance, or your grid, but you can show and hide your grid out here as well, right here. So important settings, pretty much I want always want infinite undo and I want auto save. So infinite undo is under this undo area. I want it on and I want infinite. By default, it is on, but it's finite, so it only does 50 undos, which can be a problem because every time you click on something, it's considered an action. And so it's really easy to use up those 50. If your computer can't handle it, you can always increase that number and see how things go. The other thing you want um, is under files and projects, you want your autosave enabled. Boop, boop. So autosave is really important. Maya loves to crash. Um, I usually go for five minutes. You can go for 10. Again, it's up to you how much you want to lose. If you use a student version of the software, keep in mind it will pop up a little message every five minutes to remind you that you're using a student version. Um, but I think it's worth it. And then, yeah, I mean, this is fine, I guess, but it's not helpful. You want to autosave. <laughs> Uh, if you're animating, you do want the time slider to be the frame rate you want to use. So this is sort of digital animation. This is traditional animation. You've got your digital video. Uh, I usually work in 24. It's nice to animate in. It divides well. And see so some preferences for your time slider. So if you want like a giant time slider, there you go. Um, you can make thicker key ticks too. And then your playback speed is you want it to match your frame rate that you've chosen and times one so that it goes at the accurate speed. Otherwise, it's going to be faster or slower. Play every frame means it's going to play it as fast as it can. So if it's a really simple animation, it'll play it super fast. And if it's a really complicated animation, it'll take a really long time. So it's not giving you an accurate playback. So make sure you do the frame rate times one. Um, if you need to check your playback, like maybe it's chugging along, you can do a play blast to see and make sure that it's animating how you want it to. So those are the big um, settings that you really want to remember. And then again, like making sure it's at the right time so that you're animating accurately to the time, you're infinitely undoing, um, so that way you can save your bot later, and then uh, making sure that you auto save so that way when it crashes, because it will, it will. Uh, you're protected. And there we go. There's our preferences.